what's up everybody? It's Coach Mare and Coach Grace, and we've got an awesome recipe for you guys today. It is Grace's granola. So I'll let her tell her a little bit about what we're doing here because honestly, this is her recipe, so I'm gonna let her talk a little bit about some of these uh, ingredients. So if you buy granola from the store, it usually has a lot of added sugars and a lot of added ingredients that you don't actually need. So it's even better to make at home. And you can add in some of these awesome superfoods um, and nuts and seeds. Great, great whole fats, um, a lot of fiber in the oats. So they're, they're great ingredients that you should be eating anyways. And you can mix them all up in some granola, a little added sweetness with some honey. And it's super awesome at home. So we wanted to show you how to make it today. So we're gonna go through some of these dry ingredients just to show you what we're doing, a little bit about each one of them. And then we're gonna put it all in, throw it in the oven, and that's pretty much it. That's the greatest thing about this recipe is it's easy, it's fast, and it's really good for you and it tastes really good. So first thing we're doing is doing a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna ahead and pour all this stuff in here. Um, next ingredient is cinnamon. So when you're actually using cinnamon, you're gonna be reducing the uh, blood sugar level. So really bringing down that blood sugar level, helping you balance all of that, helping you feel fuller longer, which is awesome. So dumping this in here. Then we are that going to- That also has some seeds. nutmeg in oh. there too. Let's see. <laughs> I can't a quarter, even do it. A quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, but we mixed it together, so I was Giving Mary an extra challenge. See, this there. is this is how this is why this is Grace's recipe is because I don't know anything about cooking. Um, then we're going chia seeds. So chia seeds actually have a lot of really healthy fats in them, and you wouldn't really know because there's just these tiny little black seeds. And actually, if you look at them, they look like little eggs, which is kind of weird. Um, but and I'll zoom in on that for you maybe some other time. But you're not going to want to see those. So dumping those in now. Uh, then we're going flax seed. So this is ground flax seed. Um, when you're using flaxseed or any kind of nuts, you're actually getting alpha linoleic acid, which is awesome because it helps you feel fuller for longer and it helps your hair, skin, and nails be a little bit thicker. So dumping that in, and then I'm gonna let Grace do some of these now because I'm hoarding all the ingredients over here. Um, so next we have, we have our trifecta of nuts here. We have walnuts, we have pecans, and almonds. Um, nuts are great with, they have a lot of omega-3s. Um, high in fat and they do have some protein, so um, there were a few other benefits you were talking about yeah, earlier so too. I think uh, also with the flaxseed, walnuts especially have alpha linoleic acid and selenium would help reduce inflammation. So all of these are really great because you're actually feeling like you're getting a big meal at the same time of like actually having sweetness of the honey, sweetness of some of the uh, maple syrup, all of that. So it's actually really good for you, but it also tastes good. So just dump all the nuts in. So you got two thirds cup of almonds, you got a third a cup of pecans, and a third a cup of walnuts. And then last but not least, pumpkin seeds or pepitas. So again, another great addition to any kind of protein or fat you're putting in. Um, natural sweetness a little bit, but also really crunchy. So throwing those in. And then last but not least, the oats. The oats, they are really high in fiber, so these will keep you full for a long time. Um, and these are kind of like the tacky part of the granola, so it holds everything together. So you got two cups of whole rolled oats. And you want whole rolled oats, whole, if I can speak, whole rolled oats. Say it 10 times. <laughs> um, because you don't want like the instant, instant oatmeal kind of oats, you want the whole rolled ones, those are better for you. So that's all the dry ingredients. Then with that, you're just gonna be pouring in the wet ingredients now. So in there, you've got honey, maple syrup. What else we have in there? Coconut oil. Coconut oil, that's the main ingredient actually. Vanilla, vanilla extract. Um, so a tablespoon of vanilla extract, a tablespoon of coconut oil. Um, you have a third of a cup of maple syrup and then two tablespoons of honey. That is what holds all of these seeds and awesome ingredients together. You mix, we'll mix the wet ingredients into the dry, and then we can bake it and eat our yummy granola. It's only 15 minutes at about 300, so it's really quick. You're just gonna like let it sit, you're gonna stir it. It's really, really good, and you've gotta be careful not to eat the entire pan because uh, my husband actually did that, and I came home and there was no granola left. <laughs> so just make sure you hide it from anybody that likes something sweet. So we're gonna go ahead and pour in all of the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients now. All right, so you're gonna be now just mixing it up here. So in terms of serving size, um, 
Like I said, you can eat the entire thing, so you have to be careful. Grace, what do you think in serving size here? Probably about four to Quarter. five servings? Uh, yeah, probably about four to five servings, or you could say like a quarter to a third of a cup um, of actual, like a serving size, and you can eat it with either like any sort of nut milk or, you know, with some Greek yogurt, like good. plain Greek yogurt. You don't like want those added salad, sugars. Good. Oh yeah, um, that's true too. But I would say you're not gonna wanna eat the whole thing. So that's a, a common misconception is like, I'm eating healthy, but if you eat a lot of something healthy, you don't want to eat the whole thing. So make sure that if you are doing this, it's, you know, uh, four serving sizes is what you're going to get out of here. So make sure you keep that in mind. Um, but I mean, it looks really great, especially with the green pepitas. It kind of makes it pop a little bit. And then when you cook it, it's going to get golden brown, crunchy, and give you that great texture because you've got the whole nuts in there. You've also got the, the whole rolled oats, which give it kind of that nutty flavor on top of that. And there you go. It's super easy, really simple. You can also add raisins. You can add um, any kind of uh, coconut flakes, uh, cocoa powder, chocolate chips. There's all kinds of things that you can add to it, um, especially if you don't like certain ingredients in here. The nice thing is that you can put any kind of nut, you can put any kind of dried fruit. You don't have to stick to this crazy recipe in order to make this taste really good. So that is our granola recipe. Let's go ahead and lay it out and see what it looks Time like. Time to bake it. Just don't dump it on the counter because then we can't eat it. And you probably want to flatten it so that it covers uh, overall, like the whole pan. You don't want it in one big pile like it is right now. So make sure that when you put it on the tray that you kind of spread it around. That way it gets, it can toast all of the nuts and get to all of the oats. And if you guys have kids too, like I have a three-year-old and she loves this recipe. She really likes granola and like a, a vanilla Greek yogurt. And it just makes me feel better as a mom just because she's eating something healthy. Cause like Grace said, if you get store-bought granola, it's really not that healthy for you. So especially if you have kids or you're, you know, you're really trying to get something sweet and crunchy, but you don't want to go overboard with it. This is a great healthy recipe, super simple, fast, easy. Now we're gonna throw it in the oven. That's it. So it's in the oven and I know I said it was uh, 15 minutes. So on the first 15 minutes, pull it out, stir it up, take a look at it, make sure you're kind of flipping it over. And then when you put it back in, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you watch it after that next kind of 10 minutes because you don't want it to burn because you've got coconut oil in there, some natural sugar. So you don't want it to just get black because it's not gonna taste very good. So make sure you keep an eye on it and then you'll be all done. All right, so we're gonna Eight. grab it out of here. Ooh, it's hot, it's hot. But what we're gonna so do, good. Wow, lots of cinnamon flavor. What we're gonna do now is just take it out and we're actually gonna stir it. Um, and got our wooden spoon. So we're gonna put it in for another about 10, 15 minutes. And I know I said 15 minutes flat before, but what we wanna do is just make sure that we're stirring it all so that it's gonna get golden brown. And when you put it back in, just make sure that you watch it so it doesn't burn because it's gonna get kind of a bitter flavor if you do that. So stirring it back up looks really good and maybe some clumps of cinnamon. So if you mix that around, it's a very good idea. Then it goes back into the oven for another 10 or 15 minutes and then you can hide it from anybody that's gonna eat the entire tray, like my husband. That's how easy it is. And it's super forgiving too, if you wanna do, you know, more almonds, less almonds, more walnuts, you know, whatever it is that you like putting in there. If you wanna add coconut, less oats, it's super forgiving, so. Definitely really, really important when you are cooking something like this. I mean, I'm a mom. I don't want anything that's overly complicated and I don't want anything that I can accidentally mess up and nobody's gonna eat because then that's a waste of time and a waste of ingredients. So like Grace said, really forgiving, forgiving recipes. So if you wanna add extra things or you don't have the exact amount, it's not really that big of a deal. So super easy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know we're absolutely gonna love it and we'll pull it out in just a couple minutes and you guys will get to see the finished product. All right, here we go. So the finished product is coming out. Careful you don't burn yourself. Done that before. Oh, it smells good. You'll be able to see too, just when it is brown on top and just kind of toasted, which is nice. 
Um, definitely let it cool because it's going to be hot, especially when you bite into any of the like walnuts or any of the almonds. It's going to be really, really hot inside. So I would let it cool down because it's going to be nice and crispy. And that's Grace's granola. Anything to add, Grace? You uh, keep it in an airtight container. You can put it in your pantry. Um, it usually lasts a good while. I'd say like one to two weeks. Keep it fresh. Uh, but in an airtight container would be good and super awesome to add to your nut milk, to your, to your Greek yogurt, whatever it is. Um, it's delicious. All right, enjoy.